okay guys so let's start so hope you, you are aware like you know what is the change like you know, why we want to learn new about in the demo class we have discussed what is hana what is its technology and how it is used now in the current sap landscape okay those are all we have discussed now today we are going to discuss the in depth of you know new about things like i mean what are the changes have to place in uh, the new about programming so before uh, you know starting new about so we need to know its development platform okay so in old about like i mean we used to have the development environment in sap gui from sap gui side we used to have our developments okay so sap gui is nothing but a presentation server so from there you are going to log in sap system and then if you want to write a program you have like a minimum sap packet or transaction code there you go and you write your own programs so like i mean if some dictionary things dictionary related things you'll go to sc level so there you'll do your developments but in new app new app environment the complete development environment has been changed now okay so that is the hana studio so hana studio is a it's interface it's a primary interface for developers administrators and data modelers so it is ida integrated development environment it's nothing but the so multiple people they can do developments there like developers they have there when I mean, they can do their own developments and administrators administrators are nothing but basis consultants okay they can maintain the servers from another studio itself okay and data modelers so data modelers are nothing but kind of a bw people okay business bureau same people they can do their developments as well in hana studio so that is what the hana studio platform it is a ide integrated development environment and it is a eclipse based product okay eclipse is a open source software so anybody can you know download and they can use it okay so but this hana studio use by using eclipse is a bit built down that okay this mass for a product it's a eclipse based eclipse based product it is but is a bit built down okay so the it is a client too which can be used to access local or remote hana systems and one more thing here the beauty of hana studio is you can view the database okay so generally from sap gui perspective we have only sc11 is one kind of you no know, it's a one phase to the database right but whereas in hana studio you can view end to end database okay end to end database so that is also one of the feature we have here so if you see here the hana studio overview as i said it is supporting multiple development environment so it is like you now for different different uh, development environment here we call them prospectives okay for every development environment has a different prospective so for the you know about development we have about prospective in the same way for the modeling perspective for the modelers they have a modeling perspective and ana development perspective again it is for the modelers only okay and the for the security people administration monitoring security so security and basis people they can log on that perspective and they can you know do their work actually so let's get into the system now okay then we can see like when you know
so this is the hana studio icon okay and this is sap gi icon you guys know that so this is this is the new platform where you are going to have all you know hana related developments so henceforth the development environment is going to be hana studio only okay because there you have a lot of good, good features are there comparatively GUI. Yes. So this is what the HANA Studio. So here, if you want to see the different different prospect views for so that, go to Windows menu and select prospect views and open prospect view. Just note it down this navigation and click on this. In HANA Studio, we don't have any kind of transaction code navigation. Everything will be through, you know, kind of everything. I mean, you know, this uh, you know menu driven, uh, menu driven or icon driven, uh, you know, the features only we will be seeing here. Yes. See here, we have different different perspectives. This is the about perspective, okay? And uh, we have modeling perspectives. Yeah, there's a model perspective and HANA development. These are all for the modeling people, okay? For PWP, okay? For us, like, you know, we just click on, because already we are in our perspective, we will not feel any difference, okay? So here, no need to worry i mean the first time it will be difficult only for older rappers like we have many options what are these options all those things don't worry you know so the initial only don't get into all those uh, you know options what it is all those things just look here like when as a programmer initially what we need to do okay suppose i want to write one program okay like a c38 program so what i need to do so those options you just explore it anyway the end of the session we will be discussing each of the everything okay what are the options are available here so as i said it is everything like you know navigations everything menu driven navigations or icon driven navigations it is so suppose i want to write a program simple program in our studio okay so for that first thing what we should do we should create a project okay we should create a project the project is the main source to do a developments in the ana studio now we will see how to create a project so i i have already three projects here okay because i am using this system now we will see how to create a new project so for that also different different navigations are there one navigation I am showing here. See here we have the project icon is there and next to that there is a new. Okay. Here we have a web project. Okay. Click on that. Now it will show you. Okay. So which are our systems? It is configured for this HANA Studio. Okay. Those are all systems will be shown here for on which system you want to create a about project. Okay. So we have now one ECC system is there and one S4 HANA system is there. Okay. We just go for S4 HANA system and then click on next button. Yes. So this is, I think, you know, you guys are aware of this, okay? System ID, connection type, application server, instance number, all these are all aware, like in easy side, I mean, in GUI, 
when we create any system these are all the details we need okay so those are the details i mean still if you have a doubt so we can go to ecc so same details only we are going to if we go here if we go to change icon right you will see the same thing same details okay application server same application server details and instance number 0101 okay and system id is 4h so these details only is required in hana studio also okay so by default you will get it once you select the system then click on next button so here here it is the place like when you know generally if you in log on pad from log on pad if you log on so you will get client username password log on language right so same thing here also in hana studio also hana studio also so you need to enter the client user password log on language so automatically you have those details you just need to enter password okay then click on next button yes now so by default the project name has been created here okay so it is nothing but is a combination of the system id and a client username and log on language and the sequence numbers already i am having three num three right so like the sequence numbers you get it so if you want you i mean you know whatever the name you want you can have it there or else if you want to go with the same name you just click on finish button that's it so with this you will create a project okay so this is the new thing comparatively in uh, sap gis side so there we don't have any project concept in hana studio only we have this project okay without project you cannot do anything in hana studio okay i mean in other perspective especially clear okay so now if you explore this project by default you will get three folders okay one is local object and another one is favorite packages and another one is system library okay so we will look into it one by one what it is the first is local object so local objects are nothing but all dollar temp objects dollar temp objects are nothing but the objects which we cannot move to next level systems it's a local locally available to this system only this development box only we cannot move to in the landscape like you know quality and the, finally to the production we cannot move them those are all objects will be shown in local object folder okay in the system whichever local objects are there everything will be shown but here will be having the segregations separately the objects type based on object type we have different different folders here okay so that is the difference in hana studio suppose we have a source code library that is one segregation so here if you see all source code related all coding related objects will be there here see classes so coding related right we will we'll write the uh, you know code there and then function groups function group function modules those are all coding only and then include programs and interfaces and programs this is the our ac38 programs okay all programs will be residing here all temp programs only dollar temp programs i mean both so it is a standard programs and as well as g programs as well if you see all programs will be nearly 700 programs something is there in the system dollar temp see here all g these are all g and y got it 
so like that you have different different folders like this is the transaction so you guys know what is a transaction right so that is the end product you know for any object generally any report or any table maintenance generator generally will be having a transaction code okay so that those transactions will be available under transaction code like same thing web the intro components will be available here so in like that we have many components okay different different in the folders it will be shown here clear so that is what the dollar temp okay the next one is favorite packages and system library so before going to favorite packages we will go to the system library we we'll come back again favorite packages what is system library system library is nothing but all your you know development packages in the system we have a development packages right all packages like you know whenever you create any objects you want to do make that object is a transportable objects you need one development package right i mean while we creating a you know any object under uh, you know a development package then only you can have a transport request number okay so those objects only can move to next level systems okay i will show that for the you know new people what it is the development package in the system so this both again here the standard packages and custom packages also will be there here all objects which are all stored under development packages okay those are all packages will be having in system library see this are all g okay gbw okay GCP. you can create from here your own package also custom objects the, so whatever you know the brown color is there right that means that it has objects the empty the white one is empty packages they have created simple pack on package they don't have any objects that is what the coloring indicates okay so that is about and if you want to make any object as a favorite package you can make suppose this is a package okay i want to make this package as a my favorite package instead of coming every time here this kind of things add to favorites okay gsdb i have now added to favorite package so come here you can view uh, under power and packages that particular folder got it that is what the favorite package is significance okay any package you want to make suppose generally in the real time environment only few packages only will be using regularly so those packages you will keep as a favorite packages so that is the option to make any of any package as a favorite package just right click add to favorite package that's simple okay so that's about the initial three folders okay so now okay so i think uh, we are good to go and write one program here now in the local objects i am going to write a simple program okay so here again navigations only okay we will not be using any transaction codes as like in sap gui side so here you come and right click again we have different different navigations to create a program this is one of the navigation click on new program okay so here you go you will give the program name in basic ac38 screen initial screen where you will give a program name and click on create button right the same thing here you should give in nana studio like this 
जी सैंपल दूसरा आई मीन एनी एनी नेम हाँ ओके आई एम जस्ट फॉलोइंग सम नेम इन कमेंट इन इंडिया पर से ओके एंड देन डिस्क्रिप्शन सो व्हाट इज दिस डिस्क्रिप्शन वी डोंट हैव एनी डिस्क्रिप्शन कांसेप्ट राइट इन एस बी आई मीन जी एस आई we have a title or title option is there so title is nothing but here description okay okay so now once we give the program name and description click on next button okay so since it is stored under dollar 10 so all the transport request number options are all grayed out otherwise if you would have created under any any of the system packages okay then this option is available okay the next program so i will show like those options now click on finish button yes okay now it is like our app editor ac38 okay here you can write your own program so whatever the program you want to write suppose i want to write a simple program okay like basic simple program one write statement just you know welcome just welcome program okay All right welcome to new app okay and then period so that's it suppose assume that this is the program i wanted to write it simple one line i wanted to display it so once you have written the program in sap gs head you will be doing you know certain activities right like when I mean, you have to save the program and then check the program and then activate then execute so now just see in hana studio where are those options are available okay so like that each of the every option we will be exploring by end of the session okay so this is a save option to save the program yes i have saved it now i need to do the syntactical check where is that option this is the option okay and then activate next button on the activate yes so activation for program successful now i can run the program right so where is that option here it is run okay run as a back application or directly you can go for f8 option also here also f8 on yes so this is the you will get a different session for the output not like sap gui sap gui the same session only you will be used to have the output also but if you see here this is the program okay and this is the output but in sap gui side you will be using the same session only on top of that only you will get the result okay output so like that you can open n number of sessions here it will not restrict here but in sap gui side we have Six or seven sessions only. Maximum you can use it, right? That is also one of the advantage in HANA Studio. So this is the simple way to write a program in HANA Studio. Okay. So here any doubts? The navigation, how to create a program, all those things. Clear, right? So if you have any doubts, you can just type it. you have sorting option okay you can type it
So now we will look into it. The basics like data types, all those things in your back, you will see. Okay, so we have the data types in a back, right? When it comes to new app, what are the newly added data types are there? We will see now along the existing one also. Okay, so this is the predefined numeric types. Okay, so here we have a couple of new data types have been added here. So what are them? Like it is B, B for byte and S for is also again that is also numeric only. Okay, so B is one byte and S for two byte and I our integer hold about same as it is four byte. But these two things B and S is not for the development, you know, for the not for the custom development. Okay, it is for the internal use for SAP only. Okay, you can see in the standard programs these data types, but you cannot use them. Okay, clear. This is for internal use only. And its properties are one byte and two byte. And then this is the biggest integer, int8. Okay, eight bytes. Eight bytes. Do you know what is the biggest number? I mean, you know how many digits it can allow as a eight byte? Nineteen digits. Big number it can allow. Nineteen digits. Imagine about what is the number? I don't know man. What is that calculation also? But 19 is the biggest number it can refer. Okay, if you have any kind of that biggest number also, new app supports with the int8 data type is. And then our same uh, P, okay, 1 to 16 bytes, and the default is 8 byte, the factored number, okay, so that you guys are aware the old app. And DC float 16 and and these are the new tapes for the uh, floating uh, points DC float 16 and DC float 34. But these are all generally will not be using but it has you know right I mean generally will not be using F uh, data type in our programs. Okay. But very very rare cases will be used. Same like this is DC float 16 and okay. And then we have F. Okay, so these are the predefined numeric types. Okay, and then so it's maximum and minimum length value, value ranges, all those things. Okay, so this is see, this is what I was talking about in four. Okay, so this is the Minimum and maximum number. This much maximum number it is. Okay. Yeah. So now this is a character type. Okay. So nothing, no changes here. Everything, whatever the you know old app it has. So those things we have it here. C and string, all those things we have right in older app, the same thing. And this is date and time, okay, same thing. Yes, so now we will get into the here inline declaration concept. So first of all, what is inline declaration? So inline declaration is nothing but it is used for declaration of the variables. Okay, but wherever you want a variable, wherever you want a variable, in that line we will be defining a declaration. Okay, but in old approach, what we used to do? So first we will be defining the variables and then we will start the coding by using those variables already you have defined it. 
Whereas a new program, new ABAP program, new ABAP, uh, you know, ABAP program, so we will not be having explicitly any kind of declarations, okay? Any kind of declarations will not be having in the program. So wherever you want the variable, in the same line you will be having declaration. That is called inline declaration. Wherever you want a variable, in the same place we will be defining by using inline, inline declaration feature. Okay, this is one of the, you know, you can say like, I mean, it, it is uh, developer friendly feature basically. So if you see any program, declaration only almost it takes, you know, 25% of your development time, right, generally. Okay, if it is a big program, declaration it takes time. But when it comes to inline declaration option, that time is saving now. Okay, your development time automatically it is reduced by using this option. Clear? So now generally we have two options. I mean two, two kinds of variables, right? One is general variable and then field symbol. The field symbol is the so kind of again it's a variable only but we are you know referring with the addresses okay so those two declarations how you can do it's a syntaxes you can see here data with and braces that variable name and then field symbol also field symbol and within braces and that field symbol name in this this is the syntax you should have it. Okay, so we will see those declarations, how it can be used in this slide. So if you see here, so declarations of the LHS variable for simple assignment, okay? What they are trying to do here, they have defined one text variable, it's a type string, okay, and then, then they have assigned some value to the text variable. And then in, this is the 7.4, okay, from 7.4, above 7.4, that's a version, okay, from there onwards, all these new features are available. Before 7.4 version, this options, whatever intent declaration option or the code push down techniques, all those things are not available. Okay. So with the 7.4 what? See directly you are assigned here, basically here the, the text very available requirement. Okay. So what happened like I mean, directly here we are defining and we are assigning it. Data that variable name. Okay. Equal to that value assignment okay that's how a simple variable we will be defining by using inline declaration so same way here if you see here so data work area like line of work area they have defined here okay they were using loop at height tab into work area this is general commonly you will be using right but in new about how you are using c no need to define explicitly that work area so directly you will go do but item into data of work area name you just simply give that clear so that is what and then same thing like generally this is a find of a find uh, you know keyword so in find keyword like when I mean, we have that help variable right like I mean to count the you know how many uh, you know characters are there for that so C and D you have defined explicitly here, but whereas in new app, you need not to define explicit declaration for C and D directly there itself, you can define them. Clear? So these are all different, different, uh, you know, see here, generally the field symbols. So first you will be defining field symbol, okay? So field symbol, and then you will be having assigning field to field sim assigning assigning variable you will be having the old method but in new option directly loop or tie tab assigning field symbol 
directly you can have it okay and even read statement also you can have the field symbol like this directly okay we will see now okay uh, simple examples we will take and you know, we will have it here okay so create a program suppose this is one way like I mean, directly you went to program and uh, you know you have created a program right suppose i want to create from here okay from local object assume that from this folder how we will do same right click option new okay so sometimes here only directly you will be available uh, you will be having that option about program suppose if it is not available We'll go to other ABAP repository objects. Okay. So now we just go to source code library. Yes, here it is there, right? We just explore this. Here we have option. About program okay then click on next button okay. so just give a program name Then click on next button and then finish. Yes. Okay. So now you want to use the inline declaration, right? Suppose assume that okay. So I want to write a program. For the same thing, I just take that whatever the variable uh, we have, right? After the examples we have in that PPT, we just have it. Suppose data text, okay, equal to line <coughs> okay so this string i wanted to assign it directly will be having okay so i need not to define a variable okay wherever i want to have it there itself i will be defining and i will be using okay so like this i can use it so you may be getting a doubt how system is assuming what type of variable it is generally when we are defining a variable we will be mentioning by using type keyword this is the type right by using this value by using this value okay whatever the value we are trying to assign system automatically decides suppose if it is a number it treats as an integer. If it is a text, something it is there, it treats as a character. Okay? That you can see like, you know, in debugging. Okay? That is one thing. Okay? So, this is a simple variable declaration. This is how you can do. Now, internal table. That is the commonly used declaration, right? In ABAP programs. How that can happen? Okay? So for that, we will write one select statement. Generally, the internal tables usage will be where in select statements generally it will be 
right? Select statement is the to extract the data from database. So again, here we are going to use new OpenSQL. Okay, I will discuss in detail new OpenSQL, what it is, all those things. But right now, I'm just using one feature. I mean, it, nothing. I mean, no uh, new thing actually. You know, I mean, this is uh, already in World of App also we have, but a little bit changes are there. Okay. From EKKO, I'm going to get a couple of fields. Okay. Like EBLN. Okay. And the bookers and the LFNR. Okay. From EKKO and into table. So here actually I need an internal table declaration. For that, you just need to have data and ID EKKO. So that's it. Even internal table also, you will be using data only keyword. But here, the select statement, new OpenSQL statement, couple of changes has been. Few changes you should do for a new OpenSQL. Suppose here, I'm just finishing this up to 10 rows. That means that 10 rows I'm going to get it. So this is the old method. Okay, old select statement. But in old select statement, you cannot use the inline declaration. Only in new open SQL only you can have the inline declaration. Okay, so what is the new open SQL? The only difference is in between columns, you should have comma. Okay. And here, whatever the variables you are going to have it in the select statement, those are all to be treated as a host variables. Okay, so host variables you should have at the rate symbol there. Okay, at the rates we should use it. Okay, for any variable, suppose in the where class also, if you are using any variable there also you should have at the rate symbol. Okay, so that is the difference between new OpenSQL and the old OpenSQL. Okay, only commas and the this host variable symbol. Okay, so then inline declaration is same here only data and then internal table name. Clear? So this is how you can define a inline declaration internal table. Any doubts here? Okay, so now just I'm going to, you know, from same thing, same internal table in loop statement, I'm going to have it. Loop and IT EKKO. Suppose I want to use it into Okay, work here, yeah, right? Data. Work here, yeah. EKKO. Like this, I will be assigning the work here. So earlier case, what we should do? We should define internal table, then inter then work area we used to define. And then we should we will be using, but in your app, so directly I can use it there itself. So this is the advantage with the inline declaration. Clear? So in anyway, even read statement also same case. Okay, suppose assume that I don't have this loop statement. Okay, one more thing here. I want suppose if I want to comment any lines in new uh, in uh, Hana Studio, so generally. We have shortcut keys, right? Here also we have shortcut keys, but uh, but this shortcut keys we have control plus seven. This is a new shortcut key, but in SAP GUI side we used to have control plus less than for comment and control plus greater than is for the uncomment. But in new platform here control plus seven 
and to uncommit also control plus 7 only. So here I want to write a read statement. Read table IT ETKO into work area. We want work area, right? But we don't uh, define it. So by using inline declaration, I'm going to define data work area. Okay. Into well, suppose with key, if you have any condition, you can or else just index one index. So. Okay. So like this, in read statement also, you can have inline declaration. Clear? So read is a statement to read a single record from an internal table. Okay. For the new people. So you can read a single record from this internal table. Clear guys? So same way you can have you can have the field symbol also. Suppose instead of work area I am using here I wanted to use field symbol. Okay. So what I will be doing here? Just assigning field symbol, then braces, and then suppose FS EKKO. Okay. So I can use the field symbols also like this. Clear? Okay. So that's about the inline declaration. So we have seen single variable declaration, how we can have it inline declaration by using inline declaration. And we have seen internal table also. This is the internal table declaration. So how system knows what are the fields I should have it in this internal table based on this system automatically. It will decide these are the fields in this internal label I should have it okay so that is the advantages in the new map automatically compiler will define for you okay you need not to define declaration and everything suppose you wanted to execute and see this thing suppose I uh, I'll just print something okay suppose I want to you know print this internal table for that we have a couple of class i mean in new loop statement you can have it okay. or else we have classes here output Directly, I'm just going to pass that internal table. Okay, so now just this is the save button, and then check it. Activate. Okay, so just see here. So you will get output like this when you use that that demo function, uh, you know, demo method. Okay. So now suppose if you want to debug it, how it can be done? Suppose I want to keep a breakpoint here from here. Same thing, like when you can 
into this gig here. So they find will be defined here. But here we have a lot of new new things in the debugging. So the first thing is here we have for the debugging a different prospective is there. Okay, debugging prospective we call them. Okay, if you execute automatically, a debugging prospective will be open. And in the debugging, like you know, you know, you can modify the code in there itself. Okay, you can save it, activate all those things you can do. But in old app, old uh, you know, SAP GUI side, you cannot you cannot do any kind of changes during debugging. But in the new app, the Anastudio environment, you can have the changes in the debug level itself. Okay, so just go here. The execute automatically a prospective new prospective will be opened here. So it is asking, Do you want to open a prospective now? Yes, so this is the you know debug perspective. Okay. Same like F5, F6, all those keys only again here also. But here, on top of that, we have different different options are available. Okay. So here, if you see, this is the variables. Here you can have it. Okay. All variables. Okay. What are the different different variables in this? You have it. You can view them directly automatically. Okay. And then internal tables. Any internal table data if you want to have it. So up to here, there is no internal table, right? So now to see this. So see. So this text, if you see here, automatically it is defined as a type C. Okay, because that data is character, right? That's all. And then internal table also just see. You want to see this internal table? Automatically that fields you can see that here. Okay, EBLN and Booker's LFNR. How it happened? So, by seeing these fields, the compiler defined for you. Clear? So, now here I'm just using F5 here. See, line by line, I can go here. Okay, see, so automatically, internal table got the data. A field symbol is also has been created. If you want to see the field symbol, see the field symbol. The work area automatically has been created. It's a field symbol. Okay, so you can view them. And I'm just using a fade directly, it will come here. Okay, so the same thing, same features, but traditionally we have. But as we go, we will uh, look into it, all those options. Okay, so this is what, again, if you want to go back to the prospect to the, we have about prospect to. So here is the option. You can go or else go to Windows menu. Okay, from there also, you can go back to the other perspective. Clear as any questions? Okay, so we'll stop here. Okay, so this, so tomorrow from tomorrow onwards, we'll sharply start with nine o'clock. We'll go at least one hour, one and a half hour based on you know, the topic, whatever we have to discuss.